Hey pack rats! I'm sure I'm not the only one who is desperate to find a camera bag that fits all of their gear but isn't too big. If you're closer to my height of five feet than you are to six feet, then we probably have the same problem. This is my solution. This is the Think Tank Retrospective Backpack 15. And as the name suggests, it's sized like a 15 liter bag, but it carries much, much more. It's actually 20 liters. Let me show you what it can carry. Okay, first is my Canon EOS R with a beefy RF 15 to 35. I've got my Charizard lens cap on there cause it's a beast. That goes in the top. Most of the gear goes into the back of the bag. Here is my trusty A7 III with a Tamron 28 to 75 that everyone has. In it goes. Next up is a low pro gear up wrap that holds my Rode Wireless Goes. I have a video on that wrap and I love it. I'll also throw in a Bowling P1 pocket light. Also my Rode Video Micro. Finally, my small HD focus OLED monitor. There's still a little space for things like lens caps and batteries. Okay, let's put in the tripods. This is my three-legged thing, Punk's Cory tripod. You can put a tripod on each side of the bag, and don't worry, you can easily attach a water bottle onto the daisy chains on the shoulder straps, so you can still stay hydrated. My other tripod is the Peak Design Travel Tripod, and I love this thing. The last thing is the gimbal for us video shooters. The front pouch is huge, and the Weeble Lab or Weeble S, whatever small gimbal you have, can go in there. You can lengthen the straps on the front to get the flap to fit over the gimbal. I'm just not doing that right now. The best thing about this bag is that it fits a crazy amount of gear into a tiny form factor. The main compartment accessed from the back is a 15 liter capacity, plus the front pouch, which is another five liters. That's 20 liters of space. And it's easier to pack efficiently compared to the Peak Design 21 liter everyday bag shown on the right. You can even put tons of stuff on the outside because there are daisy chains all over to hook stuff on. I keep my monitoring earphones hooked on the outside. The rails on the sides let you add attachments like this little low pro pouch. So the capacity is super flexible. Because of its great design, the bag manages to look nice and petite, even on my little five foot frame. Some other things I like about this bag are the sturdy top handle, the fact that it stands really solidly when you put it down, and the feel of the canvas material. Okay, final thoughts. No bag is perfect, right? Well, this bag's problem is that it's really slow to access. If you want to get to the top, you have to go through this ridiculous buckle system. Ugh. And then you have to unzip the top of the bag. And you do have to zip the top of the bag instead of leaving it unzipped because the top flap doesn't fully cover the top. So it's a risk for rain and other things to get into your bag if you don't zip up. Another thing is the straps. They're really not easy to adjust the way the Peak Design straps are for adjusting. And there's also nowhere, like no small pockets to quickly throw your cell phone in or your wallet. So you always have to go through this system, this silly buckle system to get to your things. But at the end of the day, this still is the best solution for me when I wanna carry a ton of gear, maybe for a two camera, two tripod setup, like an interview setup, and I don't want to carry a gigantic bag. 
So if this video helped you at all, please consider liking and subscribing. Thanks. Bye.